Hi, and welcome to another episode of Haltech Q&A, where we help bring the spark back between you and your car. Our first question today comes from James from New Zealand. He writes, I have an RB25 DET with a GT35 turbo and aftermarket inlet manifold. I just bought a Haltech R33 Pro plug-in. My question is, will the base map that's been preloaded work if I plug it into my harness as is? Well, James, your RB25 or your, your, your Skyline R32 33 Pro plug-in, like this one, is preloaded from Haltech with a base map for an RB26 engine. Now, we'll need to go online with the ECU manager software, load one of the RB25 base maps that are provided in our software straight into your car. Now, once you've done that, we'll need to adjust the injector size because if you've put a GT35 on your car, I'm assuming you've upgraded from the 380cc factory injectors. So once we change the injector size to suit whatever injectors you've got, you'll be able to start the car, it'll start and run. Now, we don't recommend heavily thrashing the engines or loading the engines until you've had them to a, to a dyno tuner to get the car tuned to suit all of your specific requirements. That way you can make sure that your engine's safe and you're making the most power out of it. Our next question comes from Todd Alquist. He asks, what ECU would you recommend for my Holden VS Commodore? It's a manual 355 stroker with twin throttles. I want to run E85, so I want an ECU that can run two tunes, one for pump and one for E85. Now, Todd, the ECU that you're after is the Platinum Sport GM series. Now, this ECU is a direct replacement for the Delco unit that you've already got. It's got the same two plugs, so it just plugs straight in, starts, runs, and we take it to the dyno tuner to get it tuned to suit your specific engine. Now, because you want to use your flex fuel sensor to do a, a true flex fuel tune on the motor, we'll need to add the IO expander and the flex fuel sensor. So the flex fuel sensor will go into your fuel return line. We'll do the tune to suit your petrol and to suit your ethanol. Then the ECU will do the blending depending on how much ethanol content you have. And our last question of the day today comes from a guy called Lightning White. He writes, I have an AIM MXG dash in my car. Will the new Elite work with it or do I need to change over to a different brand of dash? Also, can I upgrade my map sensor if I need over 30 PSI? Well, the answer is yes. The Elite Series ECU, as well as all the Sport Series ECUs, will work with the AIM Sport Systems dashes. Now, it brings up a good question because the Elite CAN communication network is actually the same as the Platinum Sport Series. So anything that was supported or any auxiliary device that was supported with the, the Platinum Sprint or the Platinum Sport series is also supported with the Elite range. Now, there is a little bit of a difference where the Elite series ECU has more configurable inputs and more information available. So the CAN protocol that comes out of the Elite system is bigger with more information that you simply need to add into whatever auxiliary device you're using. Uh, as far as your map sensor, if you're lucky enough to need a map sensor to measure more than 30 pounds of boost, we certainly do one up to 45, 60, or up to a maximum of 85 PSI of boost pressure. That's all the questions we've got for today. So if you've got a question that you'd like answered on the Haltech Q&A, remember to put them in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching.